wait just a few minutes and see if anybody comes in. Well, this hair is going to have to be cut. I see one person. Hey Lydia, how I'm good. How are you? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Hi Frankie. I did have a really good Thanksgiving and I'm doing good today. Um, my allergies are going a little bit. I really think that I'm allergic to something in my makeup. So it makes my eyes water. And I just put on makeup. So since I'm going to be on Mike's show tonight, I'm going to be on Rolling Picker tonight. Uh, I'm going to be the guest tonight. And he's going to interview me. So anyway, thank you. Got something in my eye. So anyway, we're going to I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in the auction Monday night. I have quite a few things. We're going to try to move through it pretty quick like uh, April and Casey did the other night. That way we won't take up so much time. So anyway, but I do have quite a few things, but not as many as she had the other night. I haven't decided what three purses are going in yet. So um, I'm thinking uh, maybe the some of my fringy purses. So thanks. Lydia, I appreciate that. So, anyway, I was looking at my face. I thought, I've got to find some good wrinkle cream because as I've lost weight, I see wrinkles. So, anyway, I can be, I can do like Cindy Lou Who. And, <laughs> so, anyway, so, but hey, Frankie, did you have a good Thanksgiving? I love your ring, your engagement ring. That was really pretty. I like that pink. That's real pretty. So, anyway, anybody else? There's five people just hiding. So, you don't see any wrinkles, honey. They're there. They are there. So, so the last thing we're going to auction, oh, is going to be a jewelry jar. And I have this bag so on top of it because I have, uh, um, uh, I have wrote on it what is in it. So there are two pieces of silver in it. I know. Um, there is Trifari, Listener, Monet, Napier, Coro. Um, Star Wars watch, Vendome. There's a watch in here that is uh, Cote. T I do your I do something and it is actually running, but uh there is a lot of stuff in this jar weighs over five pounds. So do I follow Cindy Lou Who too? I don't know who Cindy Lou Who is. So hey Kathleen. So this will be the last thing that will be in the auction uh Monday night. So I don't know. I was thinking of Cindy Lou Who from my favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch That Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. That is my favorite Christmas movie. And so um, I've been called Cindy Lou Who several times. So we're going to do this. Um, Bugby and Niles. Uh, Demi per uh, no, it's a Perure. It's got four pieces. Uh, Perure, it's got a bracelet, earrings, and a brooch. Oh, yeah. It's only a Demi. It's only got three. Uh, I've got two pairs of vintage shoe clips. A lot of people ask me for shoe. shoe. Um, uh, thank you. That is mesh. And um, when I found this, I found it in a jar. It had come apart. And one of my friends put it back together for me. So anyway, uh, I've got three necklaces that are um, green tone and... Um, I can't remember if they're signed or not. I'll have to look. I think one of them is signed. Yeah. Oh, there two of them are Avenue brand, and I'm not sure what the third. If they're they're green tone. I've got uh, two rings. 
uh, costume rings. I've got, I'm doing a lot of lots. Uh, I've got a heart set, a heart lot, and it's got, um, and I need to, I need to pull that off except for that tells me what's in it. So, uh, anyway, I've got a, it's got a whole bunch of hearts, earrings. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four pairs of heart earrings, uh, two heart necklaces, a heart brooch. Anyway, and I'll take it out and show you guys when we do it. I have this pair of um, pierced rhinestone earrings that are 18 karat gold plated. And there, we'll do that. And this is just an auction preview. So, um, I've got three sterling rings and they're all in one bag together, but they'll be sold separately. Um, one of them has a stone and it is a... I don't, some kind of a Jasper stone, I'm pretty sure. And it is a, a large, it's a nine and three quarters. You'll never be able to see it through that. So, anyway. There. It's, it's really pretty. I do not know if it's native or not. I did double test it. Y'all, I am so... Uh, I don't want to say OCD, but I am so paranoid about making sure that everything that I, if I tell you it's silver, then when I send it out, I want it to be silver. I have three pairs of Monet earrings that will be sold as a lot. I have a silver, a sterling silver bracelet and earring set that has a black stone. I actually bought this from going on Grumpy Barb. I'm going to sell it. Um, I had somebody ask me, you love Jasper, I had somebody ask me to do some vintage clip-on earrings, and these are, I have, this is six pairs of vintage enamel clip-on earrings in all different colors, and they're all metal, so there's that, then this is one two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of vintage clip-ons. And I think some of these maybe, I don't think any of these are signed. Anyway, and they're vintage. Somebody asked for that. I have two pairs of copper earrings. Uh, one of them is a horseshoe brand, a horseshoe design, and one of them is a tulip. I have another bag of vintage clip-on earrings, and some of these are signed. This one is signed Marvella. This one here looks like a Coro brand, but I don't know if it's signed or not. I don't see a signature. Anyway, so there's one, two, three, four or five in there. Then I have eight Christmas brooches in here, and I'm going to sell them all individually. Um, and I'll just show y'all some of them. So, anyway, somebody asked, specifically asked for a vintage clip on earrings. So, I had a bunch. There's this one that is a Christmas lantern, and it is not signed. There's this one that is a poinsettia. There's a Christmas tree. There's four Christmas tree and four not Christmas, non-Christmas trees. Uh, there's this Christmas tree that is AB stones, beautiful AB stones. There's this Christmas tree that is a green Christmas tree with all kinds of stones in it. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, is anybody, I was trying to see who else was chatting. There's this beautiful wreath. It is beautiful. It's got clear and it's only got clear stones in it. And then it has these little enamel red. Let me see. Get it out of the plastic so you can see it. A uh, little red and enamel. Um, dots on it. Let me see it. And it goes on like that. Can you see those little red dots? Those are not stones. They're just 
enamel and there's green ones too it is so pretty it is very well made but it is not signed so uh a candle and one more christmas tree hey vanessa and one more christmas tree so that is going to be eight christmas pins that we're going to have and uh, i'm going to do them together i have um a really nice lucky brand necklace and i do not um uh, it's just a green i think my theme this time was green but it's beautiful green and it has the design on the back like like he does and it's three strands and let's see there's the little there's the little thing like that so a lucky brand necklace um some of y'all will remember this bracelet it is a butterfly it is very large it has um these topaz colored and champagne colored uh, rhinestones in it it's a clamper i bought this from sandy's auction several 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 months ago i've had it i've looked at it it's beautiful it i will never wear it and uh, i thought it could go in the auction let's see so two brand new rings a blue topaz size eight uh and it is not they're not silver it's not silver and then this um i'm not real sure uh that this is actual opal glass is what i call it it looks like opal but it's not an opal but it it looks like opal glass and it is set in copper tone oh, there we go anyway it's got a lot of shimmer and fire to it but it is not opal and they're brand new they uh are some that I bought in the lots. Um, here is a brand new heart necklace. Anyway, that ended up about 30 items in it. Uh, this is hearts with little rhinestones in it, and it's brand new, and it is not silver. And I'm trying to not get caught on my jewelry. And getting your hair colored for my show tonight okay <laughs> hey julie dross julie i'm showing what i'm putting in the auction i have already gone through but i have quite a few vintage pieces that are going in uh bonjour song um i have this set here it is it's called black drop designs and it is i want to make sure that i read this right uh Photo jewelry, and this is Vancouver. This is Vancouver, and it is a scene, and it's a picture on a tile, on an acrylic tile, and it's a picture of a Vancouver scene, and uh, it is set on sterling. The, the chain is sterling. The class, everything is sterling, and it's marked. So I thought that was cute, and it is brand new. And then I have these brand new avon rings that i said i was going to put in so um it looks like we've got about 30 items for the auction 30 to 31 items for the auction that's not including the purses so i want you guys to vote now y'all know that i have put shoes in before now the brand new pair of uh, you are getting your when is the auction monday night monday night so Anyway, so this is my preview. This is Monday night. I've got to, when Dave gets back, he's out walking. I've got to get him in the corner to get out my, uh, my uh, hoard of jewelry of things that I collect. My uh, uh, vintage rhinestones to show on the show tonight, Mike. Anyway, but don't forget, I've got this huge jewelry jar. And it has every brand in it. The, I mean, like, there's no Liz Claiborne in it, but it has Jafari, Listener, Monet, Coro, Vendome, Napier. Uh, it has one working watch in it. It has a Star Wars watch in it. It has some vintage brooches in them. And there's JJ. Can you see that? Uh, 
that is a brooch and it's marked JJ. There is a sterling silver brooch in here. There are some um, uh, mid-century modern pieces in here. And it weighs 5 pounds and 14 ounces. So it is huge. So it is heavy too. Anyway, so that will be the last thing we'll do. Anyway, so I have these boots. Brand new booty boots. Booty boots. <laughs> that sounds bad. They're boot. They're ankle boots. And they are brand new. You can. They're in the other room where I'd show them to you. Hot hat. Tati's closet. Anyway, um, there is. Um, they're size 10 mediums. And they're Worthington brand. Which is a. JC Penney's or it's a JC Penney brand. Anyway, but they're brand new. And I'm thinking about putting them in. So anyhow, so let me show y'all something. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Is it here? Yes, it's here. So um I have some oh there's the other one of those. I was looking for that other earring. There's the other one of that one. That's the danger of having too much stuff. Is you get things separated. And then you think, oh, it don't have a match. And it does. So, I want to show y'all some cool things. And uh, I think that when I do my Christmas giveaway. And I am going to have a Christmas giveaway. These are going to be part of my Christmas giveaway. Even though they're not jewelry and my channel's name is Cindy Loves Jewelry, I think it would be cool. So, um, this is this is vintage. It's from 1976. Uh, it says, Don't Rush Me. And it's somebody taking a bath and it's cross-stitch. And I think I'm going to put it in my giveaway. And I will be having a giveaway uh, probably about the 15th of December. I'll be announcing that this week uh, in, my, uh, in my show. Uh, love and jewelry and uh, uh, and we'll talk about that tonight too and then I have these and these are from Lock Haven Pennsylvania they are I'm hoping that you can see that yeah you can see that they are uh, stamped December the 22nd 1939 and see, look, all she had to do was put Mrs. Harriet, Miss Harriet Berry, Bush Creek, Pennsylvania. And um, they are cards. It says, am I in hot water for getting your birthday? And then this is, has, is, but I can still rise and shine with my best wishes. Many happy returns. And it's signed to Grandma. So, anyway, I thought those were real cool. They came in a lot from my friend that lives in Pennsylvania. That one's Miss Harry Barrett. And this one here is December the 22nd, 1939. Same person. And look at the cards. Look at these cards. This one here is stringing along with the same old birthday line. And it's a line man up on a pole. And that's a, a copper wire on the line and then on the inside it says and it's still a live wire and he got shocked and knocked off the pole happy birthday and it says aunt theo so i thought those were cool I thought those were really cool um but i'm going to offer them as part of my giveaway i will be giving away a bag of jewelry a uh these here and probably something else probably some kind of happy so anyhow probably i think i'll give away this too this uh chocolate lovers queen of chocolate holiday keepsake um ornament i think it'll be part of my giveaway too so anyhow isn't it cute it's brand new what's you and sandy on the computer is sandy live right now too so I'm sorry, Sandy. I didn't know you were live. So, anyway. So, um, but uh, y'all know I like to give things away. I like to give happies and all that. So, and I'll be making a special uh, jewelry bag up. I found some more Christmas jewelry this morning while I was going through a, 
through a, a box. So, hey, y'all remember my story about the my phone falling in the toilet and had to get a cheap yucky, bought it off of the yard sale online yard sale uh, phone. Well, today I opened my box. That it was. This is the phone that fell in the toilet, and I charged it up, and it came on, and I put my SIM card in it, and I called my mom. It's it's um, doing all my updates. It's doing everything that it's supposed to do. It's working fine. So I am going back to it because I like it better. So don't what? So so don't worry with so many of us in the community. So. Thanks, Kathleen. That thanks. I appreciate that. So, anyway, so, but uh, uh so I will have, be having this giveaway. I'm going to. I need to look at a calendar, but I want to get it sent out by August the fifteenth. So, y'all need to help me. I'm at four hundred and twenty-seven. I only need seventy-three people to make it to 500 and that was what I wanted to do the giveaway for which I'm going to do the giveaway regardless but I would really 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 like to hit the 500 mark so anyway thumbs up yes everybody so I um, just am I'm so excited I can hardly sit still for my show tonight if y'all didn't see Mike posted an announcement earlier that I will be on his show at 5 p.m central time Central Standard Central Time, CST, um, which is what I live on. So that's easy that I can remember that. So anyway, so boy, my eyes are watering. So anyhow, so but I only need 73 to get to 500. So I am. Thank you, Frankie. I appreciate Mike Ro Roland Picker. Mike Roland Picker right here. Roland Picker. Let's see. Roland Picker. I'm just made you a moderator if you want to go ahead and add your channel you can hey princess casserole how are you i just was watching uh one of your yard selling videos so anyhow so todd flipping hustler just went live too i don't know who todd flipping hustler is so i pretty much only watch jewelry people and uh, and um that's pretty much it so anyhow but uh, uh, uh you're gonna be working at the world's largest disco that's cool so anyway that sounds fun i grew up there you go roland picker channel he just put the link in so i will be on his show and they'll be asking me questions and if you have any questions you want to ask ask me you're welcome to post questions there of course you know that uh you'll be dancing and not working you know that anytime you have a question, you're welcome to ask me anything that you want here. So, anyway, I'm watering all over. So, I was, I found, I listen, y'all, I have to, somebody needs to come and clean my house. I know, we could watch. Hey, in case you guys don't know, Dia Mouse, M A O. M-A-U-S. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm saying her name. Dia Mouse. What's my favorite color? Red. My favorite color is red. I love red. Red, scarlet, burgundy, any shade of red. Bright red, dark red. Not a big pink fan, but I do like pink a little bit. Red. Red, red, red. Burgundies, reds. I love them. So I'm actually carrying a red purse. If you are friends with me on Facebook, you probably saw that I've been doing a little crafting lately and I've done a candy cane wreath last night and it's all red with the white stripe, white with the red stripe and then I've done white red decorations on it. I've done a boot this week and it's got red flowers in it. So anyway, so Carla, I wouldn't have thought that you would be, and I'm not, I'm saying this wrong. I would have thought that disco was not your music because I grew up in the disco era. And so I'm quite a bit older than you are. So anyhow, um, so I would have thought that you just wouldn't been into disco music. So I hope they play Peaches and Herbs Reunited and it feels so good. 
That was the the song. This is this is how 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 the music was when I grew up. If when I, when I graduated in 1983, so I'm 53 years old. Uh, I've been out of high school 35 years. So the these are the popular people the years I was a junior and senior in high school. Uh, Peaches and Herb was really popular. The Reunited uh, and It Feels So Good was the big song. Um, Alabama was the country and western group. Alabama was where it was. And that's where most of the kids in my school was. They were Alabama. And then uh, Leonard Skinner. And Freebird was really, really a popular song when I was in high school. So, love the Bee Gees. Yes, I love the Bee Gees. So, uh, it's just, yeah, disco is fun music. I mean, staying alive. Yeah, 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 staying alive. You know, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's a fun, fun music. So, disco, disco duck. Last dance was what the club played. To, to, oh, to close it the night out. So, Anyway, but those were the groups that were popular when I was when I was a kid. So, um, oh, and here when I was 13, 14, 15, these were the people that were the crushes for girls. Everybody wanted to get their Teen Beat magazine. <laughs> and it was back, back when John Travolta was skinny. Yeah, a lot of us were skinny back those days. Kathleen, I was. I never thought I was skinny, but then I look at pictures and say, oh, my gosh, I was so skinny. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, Peter Frampton and Leif Garrett and uh, Sean Cassidy. <laughs> they were it. Yes, the Solid Gold Dixers. Oh, 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 I was watching. There's a game show on GSN called Say It America. And it's um, you answer questions that they've polled Americans across the nation. And they had these um, ladies on there called the Dancing Divas. And one of the ladies was um, she had danced on Soul Train. Who remembers Soul Train? I remember Soul Train. John Schneider. John Schneider. He's a little. Uh, OK, Dukes of Hazard. Was it Dukes of Hazard? Yes, Sean Cassidy. We all had our crushes on Sean. Scott Bayo. He's a little young for me, Scott Bayo. That was a little young. You have to think also, one of the things I, I should explain about my growing up years was um, from the time I was nine until we graduated school. Hi, April. I've got to talk to you too eight, sometimes this weekend, April. Uh, and you'll have to go back and see what all I showed that I'm going to uh, uh, be auctioning off Monday night. But anyway, when I from the time I was nine until I graduated in high school, did not have a TV. So I missed out on all of the Little House on the Prairies. And I do not like reruns of the show now at all. So, so but uh, I don't know. I don't know. My husband has a lot of chest hair, even though it's all white now. So anyway, so so I like a hairy chest, but I don't want it too hairy. So so Johnny Depp was a heartthrob then and still now is. I never heard of Johnny Depp. Scott Bayo is fifty eight. He's a yeah, he's about five years older than me. So so the like Peter Frampton and, and Leif Garrett, they're probably what Wonder how old they are now, Vicky R. So Stevie Nicks and Tina Turner hotties. There you go. Okay, Roland Picker's got to get in. He's like, let's all. They all wax it off, Casero. They all wax it off. So look here, look here, uh, April. I'm gonna have a jewelry jar. I thought that was a good idea, and I have a bunch of stuff in it. It all has lots of name brand, and it has silver in it too. So. Anyway, lots and lots, and I'll talk to you about it later. So, yay! I've got, it's got listener, um, Monet, Napier, Coro, Trafari, um, Vendome, JJ. I'm trying to think. It's got a lot of name brands in it. So, anyway, you haven't fun, found one for me yet. So, they're and I have a lot of vintage things. So, anyhow, Stevie Nicks. Oh, listen, I still like Stevie Nicks. Bobby Sherman. 
we're talking about rock and roll disco a lot of disco stars so anyway so and roller skating everybody like to roller skate have you tried roller skating now that you're over 50 your bags and jars have gone the last two times that i've gone to buy bags i mean to go gone to buy jars uh mm -hmm. carla they've not had jars somebody else is buying my jars they told me it's a little old man they promised me they'd save for some from me but yeah that didn't happen so anyway and they're junk so i listen i went online yesterday was it yesterday i can't skate i cannot skate anymore the last time i tried to skate i was so scared that i was gonna fall and i used could be i used to skate like crazy when in fact when uh we <laughs> this here's here's some fun little information for you um my brother had a little motorcycle a little 110 kawasaki anyway something like that i don't know if it was a 110 but it was a small one anyway and i had a pair of roller skates and he would take a rope and pull me down the street on my roller skates <laughs> so or he'd pull me down the street on uh the skateboard so but but uh, uh yeah we don't do that no more and and it was all okay until you hit a rock and you hit a rock and it was wipe out so i have a brother that is 13 months younger than i am so our family everything in our family is 13 months my mom and dad got married in july and i was born 13 months after they got married in july i was born in august 13 months later and then 13 months after i was born my brother was born in september so my dad used to tell people we got married in july cindy was born in august and danny was born in in september so they'd all look at him and said that don't work <laughs> so anyway he said it does when it's 13 months apart so but yeah we would um uh, we would uh do that and we had a little hill at the end of our street and uh we were there was never so much fun as when they finally paved that hill we would ride our skate down it ride the skateboard down it we we would have a good good time so so we were we were we grew up in the era where kids played outdoors of course we didn't have a tv so we didn't have video games and uh um your two kids are 11 months apart clean your space for your tree i cleaned off i cleaned off my table I don't know about you guys, but when I come in, I dump things on my kitchen table and it is like the spot for everything to stay. So I cleaned off my kitchen table and cleaned it up real good. Cleaned off the lazy Susan. I have a really pretty wooden lazy Susan that sits on top of it. Cleaned it off and put a little um, fiber optic tree on it this morning and uh, it has razorback ornaments on it. I, I put razorback ornaments and I have to I have a few more that are still packed away so I have to get them out and put razorback and then the tree that will be in the living room will be a really small tree too it will only be a four foot tree and it's going to be decorated with rustic it, I have um I have some ornaments that are like cowboys um I have these cowboys that one of them is on a buck and bronc and it has a string that pulls down and when you pull the string it the cowboy uh spurs the horse it, it kicks the and then there's another cowboy when you pull his string he walks or something like that and then i have a a, a pearl handled little pistol and a holster ornament and and stuff like that and then some barbershop ornament stuff this these were all the things that were in the on the, the in my family room christmas tree that was in the man cave so we we do that and do that it it has like wooden ornaments and just real rustic looking stuff that you would find in a in a um in a cabin the my christmas tree the ornaments from my christmas tree are uh white and gold and gold is not my favorite y'all know i don't like gold but white and gold and a lot of nativity ornaments because y'all know I collect nativities like bad I collect nativities like I have over a hundred nativities <laughs> I do I do and when I lived in a house that had 2600 square foot that was not an issue but now that I live in a house that has 1200 square foot it is an issue I didn't get to get very many of them out last year so 
anyway i love i love them i have one i have i keep out all year long that is a um willow tree ornament uh, willow tree nativity and because i have several wo willow tree things i have a mother and grandmother quilting with a child and then i because and my mom and my grandma were quilters and then i have a dad and a daughter so and i was my daddy's i was my daddy's girl so uh i do have some beautiful beautiful things for christmas so uh and when i lived in my great big house and had the big fireplace that was the fun of it i mean i decorated big time every room had something in it even the bathroom had some christmas stuff in it but uh, uh not no more not no more so i've started and i've started a lot earlier usually i don't start with christmas stuff until december the 10th i want it up all by december the 10th i live it up until um january the 8th and uh, uh epiphany till epiphany and so and then i take it down but uh um uh, because i've been crafting i started so i got out my i have one of those um uh woven wire deers that is bronze and he lights up and i got him out and he's a buck because he's got big horns uh, I got him out and put him out on the front porch. And then I got some um, solar lights that you stick in that are big bulbs, uh, Christmas bulbs. And I put them out. And then I put my big wreath that plugs in. And then I hung my candy cane out. So I have those out in the front room and out in the, on the fr out front of the house. And then I have the little Christmas tree on the thing. So oh. this year you finally regret it. See, last year I went through and sold some of my uh, nativities that I had, had ones that were just nearly just alike. So, but I, I have a Christmas village and I mean, I just have, a, I love Christmas. I, I love, and I love vintage ornaments. So I have a lot of vintage ornaments that um, I just can't part, I can't part with them. First of all, I could never get the money that I have in them out. And second of all, um, I just love them. So, anyway. Oh, oh, I need to take him in there and hang him on my Christmas tree. He's a Razorback. I'll put him on my Christmas tree. So, anyway, I have a Razorback. So, so mine too. Yeah, mine had, I had so much stuff on my table. It was unreal. So, and... Right now, if y'all could see my office, y'all would be very ashamed of me. Y'all would say, she's a slob. And I am. So, I just have, I literally just have a trail. And I got in a bunch of packing supplies this week. And so, over here where you can't see, I have a table. And I have things that, little drawers that have all this stuff in it for packing. So, I have to pull out those little drawers and put my boxes and stuff back there but i got ebay boxes in and i got um mid-size medium flat rate boxes in for priority and then i got uh padded envelopes in so hey layla how are you so jewelry purses and coins so yeah, it's, you know, it's hard when you just, and I have a lot of trouble with clothes because I love clothes. You would never know it when you see how, how I dress, but I do love clothing. <laughs> so I have so much clothes. So Layla, I was showing everybody and I've already showed them the auction stuff that's going to be in the auction. I've got about 31 items, but, uh. Uh, you know, every time I start, every time I get everything organized, then I add something new. So, anyway, um, I'm glad you're good. So, you like my taste in clothes? Well, I love clothes. I mean, and I went through my closet yesterday and took out some because as I've lost weight, I have some things that I really like, but they're just too big and they hang and, and, uh, so anyway, so. 
but I think it's about time to start. Sorry, Mike, about time to start thinking about new foundation garments. <laughs> so, uh, um, new some new birds ears. <laughs> so, anyway, I know that's too much information for Mike. So, but sorry, Mike. But, uh, yeah. So, how's the weather in Egypt? What is the weather like in Egypt? So, hey, ba Babsy. Welcome. I'm glad to catch you live. So I'm glad you caught me live. So I'm ready for Bazzy to start making some videos. TMI. Yes. I know, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's a fact of life when you, he can handle that. It's a fact of life when you start losing weight, especially women. That's where we lose weight. So, and so then you have to buy new sizes. <laughs> so anyway, so, but uh, uh, anyhow, so. I'm so excited about tonight. I I hope people come and watch. So anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys that, and um, I will tonight. I will talk about some home decor and shabby chic French bows. So too much, too chaotic, chaotic. Still like summer. So I will talk tonight on my show a little bit about the giveaway I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start opening the. Um, uh, comments it'll be on a certain video I'll start opening the comments around the first part of December and then we'll keep it open until the 15th and uh, then we'll give it away hey guys I just you know what I, I wanted to tell y'all something and I started in telling it and I got sidetracked if you are not part of it Dia uh, Immortal Hourglass started a Facebook group called YT Auctions. Let me make sure. That's what it's called. YT, YT Auction House. And um, place for you to post auctions. There. Uh, so it's on Facebook and it has a calendar that tells when people's auctions are. So I've got to get my auction on there for Monday night. So, but, uh, um, but yeah, uh, 7 PM, there's a auction. Now she doesn't have anything for the rest of November. She has December. She doesn't have anything for the rest of November. So I will ask her about that. So anyway, but uh, uh, I'm going to uh, talk to her. But if you not, if you not, there's 24 members right now. I know there's some of us are in there, but I just wanted to tell you, there you go. YT Auction House. Yes, it's a calendar for resellers to post their auction times. And it is just about auctions. It's not about going live or anything. So it's just about auctions. So anyway, so hey, guys, guess what? Um, our team is going to the semifinals. We won last night, the ball game last night, and we uh, preview auction pictures. Okay, we uh, won forty three or forty two to twenty two. So uh, we are in the semifinals, and it will be played again here. We still have home field advantage, and so uh, we're excited about that. So, so okay, that's cool, Lydia. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye. It is two o'clock and in about three hours we will be doing in Mike. So be sure and stop over and uh, be sure to watch the replay of this so you can see what kind of goodies I'm going to have in the auction. But just to tease you, I will show you again this. Look here. I think this, let's see, I'm trying to get to this pendant so I can show it to you. I think this pendant here has some silver and copper on it, but I never tested it. I know it has copper on it. So those are some vintage beads. And those may be, let's see, no, the navy blue ones are vintage Monet beads. Um, these earrings right here, I believe, right there, are Napier, I think. But there is Napier in there. And let's see. 
those on that little card right there are Trafari, and they are, are they pierced or clipped? I think they're pierced. So, anyway, yes, we would love to see some of your goodies, Bianca. So, anyway, and this watch right here is Star Wars. And this watch right here, let's see if I can find it. Let's see. Oh, and those right there have our cufflinks, and they have a Toledo, Spain, Domicine. No, not Domicine. A Toledo, Spain tag on them, but they don't say Domicine. So, uh, here. This this watch right here is Couture d'Azur, something like that. Cote d'Azur, and it is running. It works. Uh, I replaced the battery in it. So, there's a copper bracelet. Uh, some rhinestones. Anyway, so there's some cool things in there. So there's another, uh, uh, no, I was going to say there's another copper bracelet, but I don't think it is. So that's Napier. So lots and lots and lots of goodie. And I know that right on the very bottom is a vintage silver brooch. So anyway, it's going to be great. It weighs five pounds, 14 ounces. So almost 16, almost six pounds. So and I'm going to offer, when I auction it off, I'm going to offer the option of me mailing it like this. If I mail it like this, it'll cost $12.85. If I dump it into a gallon bag, I can fit it into a um, into a uh, uh, padded flat rate for a $7.10. So, anyway, so, um, yeah. So, anyhow. So, okay, so we're going to say bye, and you guys all have, oh, Cece, you just missed the end. I'm just leaving, so you can watch the replay. What catches tonight, Cece, over at Mike's, I'm going to be on Rolling Picker, so, and Robin, <laughs> you too, you guys all got in on the end, so I'm just fixing to leave, so, anyway, so I'm going to say bye for now. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.